Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video, we are going to do some shit talking. What's that? We are going to shit talk with Emma today. Okay. So I'm going to teach you 10 expressions with the word shit. Before we start, what is shit? Does anyone know? I've drawn a little picture in this corner. Um, shit is, well, I have a brown marker, so it's, I uh, don't know if you can see that, it's this color. Um, it's what you do in a toilet. We'll leave that, um, I, I think that's enough to tell you. You, you shit in a toilet. Um, so with these expressions, they're all very common expressions. They're not expressions you want to use with your boss. They're not expressions you want to use with your grandma or your grandpa. They're expressions you will use with your friends. They're expressions you will listen to in movies, on TV. Um, so my main point, don't use these at work. Don't use these with your family. Okay? So let's get started. Oh, sorry, one other thing, pronunciation. Students often mispronounce the word shit. They say sheet, sheet. You see, they smile when they say it. Shit is not something you smile about. So when you say the word shit, don't smile, okay? Your mouth goes down, shit. So repeat one time. Make sure you're not in a room filled with people. Okay, let's, let's say this word together. One, two, three. Shit. Okay, good. So now let's look at some expressions. My first expression today is one of my favorites. Shitty. Shitty. Okay. So you can say that w once. Shitty. When we say it, the T-Y almost becomes like a D-Y sound. And shit is longer and louder. Shitty. Shitty. What does it mean? When something is shitty, it's bad. It's a synonym of bad. So for example, today I had a shitty day, meaning today I had a bad day, okay? You can ask someone, how was work today? Oh, work was shitty. Um, I had a really shitty experience at work, okay? How did your test go? Oh, it went shitty. It was a, a shitty test. I didn't do well. Okay, so it's an adjective. Our second expression, shit-faced. Now, important how you pronounce the ed. It's like a t in this case. Okay, so we don't say shit-faced. No, no, no. Shit-faced. Okay, shit-faced. What does it mean to be shit-faced? Shit-faced means very, very drunk, okay? If you ever go to the bar, you drink one beer, you drink two beer, you drink eight beers, you will probably get shit-faced. So it means very drunk. Here's our example sentence. He had eight beers. He's shit-faced, okay? We don't say he has a shit-face. That would sound very bad if you said that to someone. We don't say he has a shit faced. He, the S stands for he is shit faced. Okay? Let's look at our third expression shit box. A shit box is a car. Okay? It's a car. Can you guess? Do you think it's a good car or a bad car? If you said bad car, you are correct. A shitbox is a very bad car. It's very slow, very ugly. Maybe the wheel is falling off, okay? It looks like it is going to fall apart at any moment. It's usually a very cheap car. So maybe you're on the street and you see your friend and he's driving a shitbox. You can say to your friend, look at the car, what a shitbox. All right. Similarly, so shitbox is car. A shithole is a way to describe a place someone lives, okay? So if your friend lives in an apartment and the apartment is very ugly and small and dirty 
and there's not a lot of light. Maybe there's no windows. It's a really sad apartment. You can call it a shithole. So I have a friend. Her apartment is a shithole. It's dirty and ooh, there are cockroaches. Cockroaches. Do you know what a cockroach is? It's one of those insects that lives in, in people's apartments. They're really disgusting. So it's a type of bug. If you have cockroaches in your apartment, you might maybe be living in a shithole. Our next word, shit disturber. Just like teacher, worker, officer, manager, these are all ER words. Can you guess what shit disturber is? It's a person. If you know a shit disturber, a shit disturber is someone who likes to make drama, likes to cause drama. They like it when a situation is not relaxed, but there are many problems. So for example, maybe, oh, this should be my, okay. Maybe I have a sister and I have a mother and I really like a boy, but maybe he's a bad boy and my family won't like him. I tell my sister, don't tell mom, but I have a new boyfriend. Uh, it's someone mom won't like. If my sister is a shit disturber, she wants to see drama. She wants to see problems. So she will tell my mom, Emma is going out with a bad boy. My sister told my mom about my boyfriend. She's a shit disturber, meaning my sister is a shit disturber. So it's a person who likes to create problems for people. Okay, they're a shit disturber. Let's look at five more expressions. Okay, six on our list is don't give a shit or don't give two shits. So you have a choice. Don't give a shit, meaning one shit, or don't give two shits. Both, you will hear both in movies, uh, in conversation. So how do you use it? Well, I don't give a shit. And what does this mean? It means I don't care, okay? Um, I don't give a shit, I don't care. So maybe, um, maybe you were supposed to, well, this, a teacher would never say this, okay? But just an example. Maybe you didn't do your homework and you go to your teacher and you say, um, I, I didn't have time, you know, my dog ate my homework, I'm really stressed with school, I have all these problems. What your teacher probably wants to say, but won't, is I don't give a shit, meaning I don't care what your problems are. I don't think teachers actually think this, um, but it's always possible. Number two, scared the shit out of me, okay? If someone scares the shit out of you, it means, or something scares the shit out of you, it means you are very, very scared, okay? Just very scared. So for example, um, what scares me? Ghosts, ghosts scare me. Um, if I hear a weird noise at night, uh, maybe I might think it's a ghost. Maybe I might jump to that conclusion. And so if I hear a, a strange sound, I might say, oh, that scared the shit out of me. I might say, that scared the shit out of me. It scared the shit out of me. Maybe you've seen a movie, maybe paranormal activity. That movie was very scary. It scared the shit out of me. Okay, um, you might notice here I wrote out of me. And here I wrote out of me. What's the difference? Oftentimes when we say out of me, we don't say it like this. It's too, too formal, too um, slow. We usually link our words and instead in conversation we will say out of me. Okay, so can you say that? Out of me. It scared the shit out of me. Okay, good. Full of shit. Okay, I like this expression. What does it mean to be full of shit? Well, if you are full of shit, it means you are lying. If someone is full of shit, 
they are not telling the truth. They're lying. If you told me the sky was green, or the sky was, um, what color could the sky be? If the sky was, um, yeah, green, I would say you're full of shit. It's blue. I know it's blue. Okay? So it means you're lying. He's so full of shit. He's lying. Shitting me. Shitting me. What does this mean? Well, we often ask the question, are you shitting me? Meaning, are you lying to me? So in this one, it also means lying. You could also say, don't shit me. Um, are you shitting me? Uh, and again, are you lying? Are you telling the truth? We use it oftentimes when someone tells us something that is very surprising. Um, if a student came running up to me and said, you know, Brad Pitt, the actor, he's outside the school right now and he wants to talk to you. I would say to my students, are you shitting me? Meaning, are you lying? Is that true? So we use it that way. To talk shit. When you talk shit, it means you don't tell the truth, okay? And usually it means um, you're talking badly about someone. So you're talking badly about someone you know, maybe a teacher, a friend. So it's not a good thing. To talk shit means to talk about people in a bad way. Someone might say, stop talking shit. Stop talking shit about me. Meaning, don't say not nice things about me. Okay, um, so stop talking shit. So I decided to add a bonus. Um, there are so many shit expressions. I decided to add one more that I really like. And that is bullshit. Do you know what a bull is? A bull like this, you know, it's like a, a boy cow. That's a bull. So a bull is an animal. Bullshit means it's not true. A lot of these mean it's not true. We can also say BS. Bullshit and BS are the same thing. Sometimes people say BS to be a little bit more polite. Although it's still not polite, it's just a little bit better. So you, if somebody tells you something that you don't believe, that's total bullshit. Okay, that's not true. That's bullshit. That's BS. Okay? So, I hope you have liked this video and you have liked learning these expressions. Um, I hope you didn't find any of the expressions too shitty. I hope you enjoyed them all. So, if you want to practice these expressions, I would invite you to visit our website at www.ingvid.com. There you can find our quiz to where you can see if you've understood all of these expressions and to practice them more. Remember, don't practice these with your teacher. Don't practice these with your boss. Don't practice these at work. They're for your friends, okay? Until next time, take care.